Congratulations! You will meet the Grandmaster in five seconds. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. You are now meeting the Grandmaster. Let's talk Fantastic Four. We talked Fantastic Four last week. We'll talk Fantastic Four again, and we're going to continue to talk Fantastic Four as it continues to get closer and closer to uh, the film. Um, but Murphy's Multiverse, this is coming from Charles Murphy. Now, Charles Murphy is another scooper insider. Um, Charles stays out of a lot of the drama. From what I've seen on Twitter a lot, he'll stay. Sometimes Charles can be an asshole from what I've seen in his replies, but he'll stay out of the drama a lot. Um, but he most recently did a article here on some of the rumor uh, things going on with Fantastic Four. So this most recently dropped, I think it was this morning. Now, I don't want to sit here and say that we're – Anybody should be surprised by this. Again, if you have been subscribed to this channel or any other channel that has been covering some of these things with the Fantastic Four, any Marvel projects in general, we talked about how Franklin and Valeria are going to be in the film. This was prior, way prior to last week's or a week, a week and a half ago's news. People talking about, oh, the twin, uh, the the uh, not the twins, uh, Franklin and Valeria are going to be in the film. Yeah, that's not news. Uh, we knew that Franklin and Valeria are going to be in the film. But what uh, this is news. Uh, Franklin Richards will reportedly play an integral role. Now, let me stop there because last week I did say don't expect Franklin uh, to be raising Galactus from the dead and 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 uh, making Galactus his herald or anything like that. You know, I I've, I said I feel like they're probably not going to be really realized into their powers yet and things like that. I might have been wrong. I might have been wrong. Uh, Franklin Richards will reportedly play an integral role in the Fantastic Four. There will reportedly be some sort of connection between Franklin and Galactus in the film. Now, obviously, th that's not like a, okay, that's not groundbreaking because there's a connection between Franklin and Galactus in Marvel Comics. But um, what that, I don't know what they mean by that. When I say that, I just don't know if we're going, how, if he's going to be born in the film, he's still going to be very young unless we time jump in some way. Um but I thought that they did say that. I thought they said that the Fantastic Four at some point is going to time jump. There's going to be split. We're going to see things from the past and things from the future. That's right. They did say that. Uh, we're going to see things from the past and the future taking place within the uh, uh, within the Fantastic Four film. Uh, so maybe in the past he's born in space because that's what they said. The, the, the leaks or rumors said that he's supposed to be born in space. So maybe in the past he's born in space and we see a future version because we're supposed to see two attacks from Galactus. The because they, they already know Galactus, they've already fought Galactus from what we know. They've already fought Galactus so far again, grain of salt, but they've already fought Galactus. So, we're supposed to see a past fight with Galactus and then the future fight with Galactus where it doesn't turn out so well. Um, so maybe, maybe Franklin is older. Um, maybe that can, and maybe he does. He's fully realized into his powers and uh, whatever the connection is with him and with him and uh, Galactus, um, it's going to be somewhat foreshadowed and talked about within the film. Um, NASA or not NASA, sorry. Uh, they also just did this most recent um, kind of tease for it. Uh, the uh, it says NASA captures mysterious image of surfboard orbiting the moon. Just more marketing for uh, the Fantastic Four. Um, and then I'll also show this, um, Kevin Feige, this is what Kevin Feige said back in 2019 about the, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, we need your help! Story you're gonna tell that hasn't been told? Uh, it, all of that is spoilers, but I'm extremely excited about those characters and about, uh, and about bringing Marvel's first family um, up sort of to the platform and the level that they deserve. 
Are you anywhere near casting? No. No. Story? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> See all the stuff we did today? <laughs> but you dropped all these teases. I just said we didn't have time to talk about it. Yeah, so um, if you also recall, he did say a while back that uh, he wanted um, to put um, a different spin on Marvel's first family that hadn't been done before. He, you know, not a, I don't want to say that. He didn't say different spin. I don't want to scare people. Um, he said uh, a different take, a different uh, uh, something that we haven't. I guess that is the same thing as a different spin. Uh, just a, a way that we haven't. It's not an origin story. Is what he was basically getting at. It's not going to be an origin story. We've already seen the origin story. We know they go to space. They get their powers. Damn, we don't need to see that again. Uh, so it's not going to be an origin story. Uh, but what Charles had to say on some of this was, uh, for a film that hasn't even begun principal photography, Marvel Studios' Fantastic Four is certainly generating a lot of hype. And I, for one, am actually somewhat really. It's on my most. It's on my. It's on one of my most anticipated list films for 2025 i do want to see this a bit more if you would have asked me a couple months ago i think i said superman but i do want to see this now a bit more than i want to see superman um says uh known for typically keeping secrets locked up tightly until big events the studio has been uncharacteristically forthcoming with information about the film uh using social media to drive interest in the project first it was the valentine's day reveal for the cast uh, through some stylized concept art new title and new release date and what we also know is the that valentine's day post those uniforms are going to be the fantastic fours uh, uniforms, their cost, their suits. So those are going to be the suits they suit up in in the film. Uh, then it goes on to say. Um and then on April 4th, another piece of concept art was shared along with a link to Marvel.com that ultimately uh, landed fans on a page created by the Future Foundation. Uh, the page contained links. This is what we were talking about last week. Uh, the page contained links to the five Marvel comics that fans have probably right, rightly concluded um uh, concluded concluded have had some level of influence on the on the plot of the 2025 film and then of course scoopers and leakers have been scooping and leaking uh, and much of what they much of what they have had to share lately has led to some interesting discussions at all uh, discussions at all the usual place in all the usual places uh, what's the latest buzz what's real and what's bullshit let's take a look Okay, so this is the alternate universe. Um, going on to say that that's real. Uh, the most notable rumor making the ru making the rounds is that Marvel Studios' Fantastic Four will be set in a universe other than the MCU's version of Six One Six. To be totally fair, given what Marvel Studios has provided for fans to look over, uh, no insider access is necessary to come to that conclusion. Both the original cast photo and new concept art of Human Torch provide plenty of interesting uh, uh, inferences um, that the film is set in else set in elsewhere in the multiverse the valentine's day artwork which was used to announce the cast made it clear that the first family was actively uh was active during the 1960s there's a lot we don't know about that part of the mcu but it's almost impossible to imagine what sort of horrific retcon director matt shackman and the films uh and the film's team of writers would have had to fabricate in order to explain how nobody in the mcu 616 knows who marvel who the fantastic four are and I know a lot of people were asking that before we found out it was going to be in a different universe. People were saying, well, so the Fantastic Four have just been around this whole time and not helping and they've been here since the 60s. Not the Eternals. Very different. I still hate that with the Eternals, but not the Eternals. Very different. Um, they're in a, multi a different uh, universe. Uh, it goes on to say, uh, while there while there were still potential arguments to be made, after all, Doctor Strange Doctor Strange made everyone forget Peter Parker. Uh, the retro futuristic city in the background of the Happy Four Four Day poster really erases or really uh, erases any doubt that the Fantastic Four will take place in an alternate universe. Uh, what's more. What's more interesting, though, is that the retro futuristic city also sort of implies that Doctor, that Doctor Reed Richards and the future found and his future foundation have had a profound impact on the Earth 
they inhabit. Honestly, it's interesting that they fu- that the Future Foundation exists at all on this new Earth because it implies that Reed has done has done an uh, admirable job of solving everything, which makes more which makes one wonder if this Reed variant is so intelligent that he becomes aware of the multiverse that he has become aware of the multiverse and has built the bridge uh, and has built the bridge and has met other Reeds. Now we've talked about this. I think that. I do think that. I do think that this read is obviously because this read is going to be our main MCU read, which makes him the 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 read, obviously. So, you know, it's just like in Marvel Comics, 616 heroes are the best of them. And even in the MCU, our world's heroes are the best of them. So this is going this read is going to be the best of the best of them. But we've talked about all the casting rumors that they had for Reed, Adam Driver, Dave Patel, um, all the others, all the others, um, Penn Badgley, uh, all of them. I don't really know if they're really going to do a Council of Reeds, if they're going to be able to pull that off and have all those people come back as and playing Reed Richards, um, even the OG guy that played Reed in the uh, original Fox films. I don't know. But the Council of Reeds is something that has been on everyone's minds. We've talked about that, talked about them possibly doing a Council of Reeds and us seeing that within the MCU. I do believe it's something that they do want to attempt to do. So I, I strongly believe that he probably has built a bridge and met other other Reeds. It says, whether Reed has knowledge of the multiverse or not, the audience the audience certainly does. Uh, beginning with Avengers Endgame and continuing throughout several multiversal saga projects, Loki, Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, the Marvels, and What If, Marvel Studios has opened the floodgates to the multiverse. Uh, to the multiverse, Mom alone introduced over a dozen new. U- no, it didn't. A dozen new universes. Uh, so when the Fantastic, so when is the Fantastic Four set? Definitely not in the six one six, and definitely not Earth three. 3- 838 because the universe read wasn't so smart as it turns out as that universe's read wasn't so smart as it turns out as much as fans might want to see uh, the film set in a familiar universe or at least one that's been seen on screen before the, before that really doesn't make sense from a storytelling perspective any known universe would would come to pre-existing um, limitations not not matter or no matter how small uh, sorry, binary and beast universe to open it up, to open it up to truly uh, unlimited creative, creatively and potential. Uh, uh, the story would simply just the story would simply just have to be set in a universe that has previously not been seen. No muss, no fuss. Franklin Richards and Galactus. Um, one of the more interesting rumors to follow Marvel Studios new, news this last week is that Reed and Sue's, Sue's son, Franklin, will appear in the film. Uh, the rumor suggests that Sue will be pregnant when she fir- when when she's first seen in the film and that Franklin will be born in space. If Marvel Studios has proven anything, it's that they aren't particularly concerned about uh, faithful adaptation stories or characters from the comics. However, Franklin Richards is a singular character even in a world of Marvels, uh, so his... So his inclusion is of note. In the comics, Franklin is a mutant uh, with immeasurable telepath- telepathic and telekinesic telekinesis abilities, who also happen to be ca- who also happens to be capable of reshaping reality. Indeed, as a young child, Franklin saved Earth's heroes from onslaught by creating an entire pocket dimension for them. Um, Following the 2015 event, Secret Wars, Franklin restored the multiverse by creating all new, all different realities. Recent uh, recent events in the comics have stripped Franklin of all his powers, but for one day a year. However, thanks to thanks to time travel and uh, flash forwards in the comics, some of its some of his future has also been told in those stories. Uh, and those stories may factor into the Fantastic Four. Uh, and then it says. Uh, Relevant to the film's potential plot, Franklin Richards has long has a long history with Galactus. When Franklin was just a young boy, the great devourer of worlds already feared his power. By the time that he was an adult, Franklin became so powerful that Galactus served as his herald. And in the alternate Earth X universe, Franklin became Franklin be, Franklin became Galactus. It's not clear exactly what exactly what ties Max Shackman and the Fantastic Four established between the two characters, but some buzz has reached our ears uh, that there will be some connection between Franklin and Galactus in the film. It's clear that Reed, Sue, Johnny, and Ben have an active have been active for quite some time in their universe and Franklin's birth takes place after the team is well established as heroes. That means it's likely that whatever Galactus is up to, this may not be the first time they have encountered him. It's not. It's 
going to be the second time that they had fought in Galactus. I don't think it's the second time they fought Galactus, but I think they fought him quite a bit when we first when we first see them. Then he says, uh, rumor control, Franklin Richards does not look to play an integral role or or does look to play an integral role in the film, which will establish some connection, what we already read. So boom, boom, boom. That's what we know about Franklin, uh, what Charles is kind of talking about there, what they're going to what's going to be going on with Franklin within so far that we know within the film. Um no one should be surprised by the not sticking to uh, the comics continuity, the storylines there. Marvel never does that. Um, it's very rare that they do do that in the MCU. So, But that is the news there with the Fantastic Four and what's going to be going on with Franklin. I mean, as I said when I first started this, that's not really news there on, on that front. As far as Franklin being in the film and Valeria, we already knew that. Uh, both of them are going to be in the film. Um as long uh, along with Herbie, Herbie is also going to be in the film. So it's they they're already a, the established Fantastic Four. They're not like any Fantastic Four we've seen in any, any of the other live action films. So they're already going to be established. So uh, we'll have to just wait and see. But that is what we've got there for the Fantastic Four. What we have. <laughs>